This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I wish I was lying. This box is wrecked. USPS, you have some explaining to do because look at the condition of this box. I could literally see straight through this. My hands are literally in the box. I don't know if like things were stolen, but I will disclose this. Over a hundred dollars was paid for shipping. So for this condition is wild. This has never ever happened before. And keep in mind, this is coming from Texas. I've received things from New York, never in this condition. So first thoughts after seeing this box, you're probably like, Danielle, I think you're getting scammed again. But no, do not worry, don't fret. This is coming from really Mia Click. She is no stranger to my channel. She has sent me a mystery bundle before, and I'm not kidding when I say that every single piece was a freaking grail. So if you haven't seen that, I have it somewhere up here in the cards and also down below in the description. I'll give really Mia Click just a quick little introduction. We did talk more about her profile and her clothes in depth in the last video. So we'll just jump onto her Instagram real quick. So the owner is Mia and she runs really Mia Click. She is also on Whatnot, so I'll leave all all her links down below but she specializes in 90s y2k clothing and she also owns her own flea market it's called that's hot market so those who are in texas hit her up go shop and support what i love about mia too is that she dives into different themes and aspects of y2k so on one hand she can be very alternative dark gives rock star girlfriend but on the other hand she could also be a little bit more traditional colorful gives pop star princess so it's awesome that her style and her inventory really is on both sides of the spectrum she did see how ruined the box was when it was delivered so she did tell me that there's some like glass or porcelain clowns in here that may have been broken so just to be mindful so i don't get hurt so spoiler alert there's some clowns in here, but let's finally open this. I haven't opened up a mystery bundle since that one scammy one So this is so exciting because I already know it's gonna be so good. Mia has just awesome curation. Oh my gosh guys Look at all of this freaking clothes. You know what? I'm gonna Guys what? What the heck? Okay, this is this is so wild. This is how I know Mia knows my style because look at the skirt Wait one second. I literally own this skirt already. <laughs> we got twins here, y'all. This is so wild. I wonder if it's the same brand. Okay, it doesn't look like it has any words, but the tags are literally freaking identical. That is so funny. Okay, well obviously, I love this skirt. I'm getting very ahead of myself. I probably should have mentioned, this is very important information, I did send over my measurements and my Pinterest, so it's not like she was just pulling random things and putting them in a box. They're based off my aesthetic and things that I personally like. Let's do something brown and a buckle with flowers? What the heck is this? Guys, it's a, wait, we have to move this box. Wait, this is so cool. I kind of like how it looks like a uniform. So it's given C's candy worker, a cleaner at a hotel. But I am so obsessed. It's brown, it has a pinstripe. Look at the contrast detail on the collar, the freaking belt, and then the cute flowers. Oh, I am obsessed with this. The scary part, some denim. And it looks like it's bleached, but it has wild embroidery all over. Whoa, this is cool. Jeans are a little tricky just because my hips are pretty wide. I'm a 38 hip, so I tend to fit like a large in bottoms, but then my waist tends to be a little bit smaller. So we'll try these on, hopefully they fit. Let's do something a little bit darker. It also has this like crinkly construction, contrast stitching. Oh, it's a skirt. This is kind of reminding me of all the skirts that I found out while I was in Paris. This is a brand Alexandra Rosati. Ooh, that is super cool. It also has some belt loops, so maybe we can find some sort of chain belt or maybe even do something with eyelids. But I've been looking for something that's like a little bit more minimalistic and dark so that I can wear it with my tabby. So love her. We're moving into some color now and this tab already looks like so much fun. So, oh, it's a surplice neck. It's sleeveless and it has a tonal print on the bust. Okay, surplice necks kind of scare me just a little bit because the girls are small, but I am on my period right now and so my boobs feel so big. So we'll see if we can fill her up. And I don't have very much of this blue color, so that's very pretty. I like it. We have a lot of clothes to show off, so, oh, 
I'll just put it on its side so that way we can just grab. Oh, 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 and there's some like fuzziness to it. What the heck? I absolutely love this. You know what's so funny is that I actually have a pink version of something very similar to this and I was gonna wear it today, but then I settled for this one. Wait, I have to show it off. I was literally gonna wear this sweater today, but I love this one even more just because I feel like it's perfect for the season and I'm definitely one of those people where if I like a certain style, I need it in every color. So this is so cute. This is a brand Copper Key in a size medium. <gasps> yes, love her. And she also looks like for a medium, she runs a little small. So that's totally okay. Oh my gosh, look at the texture on this jacket. Let me just bring you a little bit closer without moving too much so you can see these details. Love this. I don't know if she purposely included this one, but like it would look so good with that skirt that I just showed off. So she's putting together outfits for me. Mia, thank you so much. While I have you here, let's take a quick minute to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. They empower individuals to create an online web presence and also launch their passion project. So if you're a small business, take this as a sign that maybe it's time to create your own professional website where you can sell digital items, physical items, and even a service. And all thanks to Squarespace, I have my own website. It's called twinnell.com. And this is where I sell my mystery bundles, my reworked vintage lingerie, and all of my dead stock clothing. It was super easy to make and you get it customized to your liking, but what made it very helpful were the tools that Squarespace offers. So the first one is e-commerce templates. Squarespace has a whole library full of different website layouts to choose from. So you just pick the one that best fits the needs of your website. And from there, you just customize the color and the text. The second tool they offer is inventory management. And as a vintage reseller, this tool is super important for me just because currently I have three racks of clothing. And so Squarespace will keep track of quantities and styles and will send me notifications anytime anything is low in stock or completely out of stock. The third tool they offer is secure payment so of course you want all of your customers to feel safe anytime they're shopping on your website so you can connect stripe and paypal so that way customers can purchase items using either their credit card venmo or paypal the last tool i want to talk about is that they offer a built-in mobile website so all the templates that i showed off earlier do come with a unique mobile experience so this just means that your website is going to be accessible on a desktop and all mobile devices so there is a free trial waiting for you at squarespace.com but when you're ready to launch visit squarespace.com slash chanel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code TWINO. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to unboxing this bundle. I see some white. I really hope it is just like a classic button up shirt because there's one that I have right now that has these like puff. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's this silver tone bangle with hearts on it. That is freaking adorable. Ooh, she's cute. Okay, back to the white button up blouse. I have one right now with long puff sleeves, but y'all, the way that I sweat, I go through these white shirts so often that I do need a handful of them in my wardrobe. Already, I'm loving this tag. It's a buyer in a size medium. Oh yeah, she's so cute. Look at that, we have a soft edge collar, the satin trimming on the bust, and the puff sleeves. This is gonna be perfect to layer with. We're gonna go into some neutral territory here. Whoa, this is so cool, I love this. I know she's a little wrinkly, but I promise you she looks so freaking cool in person. So we have the pockets here that have just the perfect amount of fraying. We have the pocket on the side with some embroidery, and look at the eyelets on the back. Oh, that's so cool. I see a really interesting piece. Oh my gosh, I've kind of been obsessed with this type of print where it looks like it's just a whole bunch of denim. So I'm so excited for this. Punky girl with the star. Look at these sleeves, y'all. And okay, look, I'm not sure if you can see the print, but it has denim, some leopard up in there. Okay, and it comes into a V-neck, very flattering on the bust. And I love that it's this like micro mesh. So it's very stretchy. I know it's gonna be comfy to wear. Super excited to put this on my body. You know what, we'll keep with the denim. I see this one that has these embellished rivets. Oh my God, it's a pair of jeans. <laughs> oh, and they're dark wash, one of my favorites. Look at this waist. These were the rivets that I was seeing because each one of them is embellished. That is so cool. And this is the kind of denim that has a lot of stretch to it. So this is nice. I'm just hoping, oh my gosh, look at the vents on the legs. These are so good. So that way you can wear a really cute shoe and then show them off at the same time. I love a good Y2K jean that has unique features like that just because I actually collect a whole bunch here, especially if it has embellishment. So these, I'm so gonna cross my fingers in hopes that it actually fits. 
But let's grab a blank top. What is that? It's a freaking rose. It's a freaking rose. Guys, roses are one of my obsessions. The color red, lace, and roses on clothing. Oh, can't forget about the mesh too. This is adorable. These tags, why are these tags so good? This is the brand Pop Stars, and then the O has a star. I love the Y2K obsession with stars. I already know this is gonna be very flattering on the body just because the material is a little bit stretchy, but it feels like it's gonna form to the body. And look at that scoop neckline. That is gonna hug the collarbones very nicely. Okay, let's do some white. White does scare me a little bit just because my pits, y'all, I swear they're toxic. If I lived in a mutant world, I'm pretty sure I would have the power to like secrete some sort of like toxic poison. And if not that, probably something like yelling and it being very screechy and breaking glass. But look at this white shirt. That is so cute. This isn't my usual style, but I can appreciate that it's on a paper tag made in USA. I think this will probably have to layer a little bit more and we can do like a whole bunch of white lace off-tone colors or I can also layer this with the lingerie that I've been reworking that wouldn't look half bad either so I can get behind this you know I haven't seen a single clown yet so I wonder if maybe USPS had to take those out but this shirt was quite literally sticking outside of the box so let's see what she is wow that is so fun it's this black little what is this like crochet top with fringe sleeves and has sequins all throughout and I love that it's also lined usually when I come across this style top it never has any lining so you have to kind of be a little bit more creative when styling it I see some pink camo this is the brand Express and the trim is a hundred percent silk no wonder it felt so luxurious and this one does have just a slight little shading right here on the front but guys all of this is secondhand or thrifted so I don't mind that whatsoever we'll try to get her out Ooh, look at this print. Okay, this is fun. Another little sleeveless tank. And we have more leopard and some tiger print on this. This is the brand Latitude Freedom of Action. Another paper tag made in USA. The colors and how busy of a print it is reminds me of like the leotards that Cirque du Soleil performers wear. Guys, look at those sleeves. And this feels like it's satin. It's Dress You by Sharon. It is satin construction and it has an all over print of what exactly? It looks like some sort of European architecture. And then we have a front cutout that's put together by a self tie. And the sleeves are slightly flared and then have a vent. Okay, this one I'm excited to try on. I feel like, again, not really my style, but it's taken me out of my comfort zone. Look guys, here's another bangle. This one has lips all over it. Okay, cute, cute. You know what, what is this? What is this? It has stars on it. Wait, I think this is another cute little bracelet. I love this one, especially because it has the stars on it. Cute, cute, so much silver jewelry. Oh, this is limited to a size small, a cute little cardigan, crochet cardigan with a hood, long sleeves, and I think this is, oh, I thought it was an open front, but it actually has buttons. Okay, very cute. I have very broad shoulders, so I'm hoping that this fits me. We got another white top, and this feels so soft to the touch. For sure, the outer layer is 100% silk. It also comes with a camisole, but this is satin. Very pretty, I love the lace on that. Another off-white piece. Okay, this one I'm really into. This one's off-white, a little bit more yellow. It's sheer, full lace construction, and I love that the trimming is scalloped. Oh, this is so pretty. I see some blue, so let's pull her out. A cute little skirt with lettuce edge trimming and has an all-over floral print, yes on a paper tag made in USA. Another cute little v-neck that has these seams that hugs the bust. And then this one has a waist tie in the back. This is old school exhilaration. That's super awesome. This one is labeled as a size large, but I think it might run a little small. And she's super sheer too. So black brawl, she's gonna be good to go. What the heck is this? What the heck? Guys, look at this micro mini skirt. I am obsessed with this okay we have the fishnet it comes down into a point and it's lace up these are leather faux leather buckle details it does look like it's peeling just a little bit but that does not matter I'm sure this belonged to some trashy lingerie set but I'm obsessed with it I love it and I also came across this like really high-end luxury wholesaler in downtown Los Angeles he's had clients like Lady Gaga 
Janet Jackson and other high net worth clientele so I do really appreciate pieces like this and let's see I see some metallic foil detail what is this look at this it's a short sleeve with like this silver detail on it it's the brand pure design but also why does it kind of look like a Power Ranger uniform and then on the back totally clean Ooh, another little bustier with the front zip what brand is this Contempo Casuals. I have seen that brand before at thrifts. And then the back is total mesh. It's sheer. And then the front is just this really big pop of color that's a red satin. This is so cute. It's a brand basic equipment. It's a size medium. I love how cropped it is. I feel like this would be good for just a very casual outfit. Some sort of like jorts or denim pants. This is where we're at with the box now. We're pretty much there. Just a handful of pieces left. I see some more camo, so let's grab that. Ooh, I love this. You know what, not even just for me, but also for Arthur. We have camo stripes on the shoulders, and then this 65 that also has rivets. I am obsessed, misdemeanor, it's a size medium. Look at the fishnet coming out of the neck, the hem, and the sleeves. Wait, I think this might be my favorite top. And then it has this print on the front. I just see a whole bunch of words. What's it say? It says vintage issued pound X off limit zone. That is so funny. And then we have contrast stitching on the cuffs and also the hem. And now we have some black lace. Ooh, this is old school forever 21. Pretty similar to those other white pieces that we were getting only now in black. Another piece that has a little keyhole cutout with a tie closure. We have an all over rose print and construction is micro mesh. The Union Central des Art Decoratifs. Okay, that was French. Please excuse how bad that was. I love these very random printed shirts. I just feel like they're one of a kind and super unique. I'm thankful that it's a long sleeve because I don't have appropriate winter clothes for LA. I do have a handful of jackets, but I need more long sleeves. So I'm glad I have that now. Look at this denim. Is this a skirt? That is so cute. So we have this medium to dark wash skirt with contrast stitching. It's just diagonal. And what brand is this? ENT Entrancy. It's a size large. Another really cute tag that has little hearts on it. And this denim material is also very stretchy. So after a big meal or even if I'm on my period, that's going to be very comfy. Ooh, we have fun sleeves. And then it looks like we have, what is this, like digital floral print on the front? Is that see-through? Oh, it is. Is this good? This is going to be another piece that shows off some tummy, even my belly button jewelry. And what? Oh my gosh, she included some Custo Barcelona. I've been lucky enough to find Custo at the thrift stores and at the bins, but nothing is like tame as this. Usually it's a lot more colorful, has a lot of prints, but I love this, especially the little floral print there. <gasps> Guys, oh, okay, I came across the clowns. We have this, what is this? Is it just like, I thought it was an ornament at first. Maybe it is because it has this little string to it. Artistic gifts from Buena Park. Maybe it is just like a porcelain little thing. It's cracked though. I feel like I have to be very careful with this one. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put these on my shelves. I have a whole bunch of clowns up on the wall behind me. We have some bad news, guys. We have a broken one. No, he was beheaded. Look at his head, what the heck? Okay, I just wanna make sure there's no other broken pieces. Oh, that is so sad. I wonder if he had something in his hand because it looks like it's missing too, but yeah, head is like clean off. Maybe if anyone knows how to put this together, let me know down below in the comments. I do have E6000 glue, and I'm sure that would be strong enough to put it back together. I love the colors. This is the first time I've ever seen a clown that's like fairly dark in complexion, so love that. Okay, now we really are coming to the end of it. I'll just pull these out. It looks like we only have three pieces left. Ooh, okay, we got some khakis, and they're these like capris or culottes. I know you either hate or love them, but I personally love them. Surprisingly, even with like my very small calves, but usually I hide them with some like very big platform boots. And on the back we have a zipper pocket, but I love that the hem has this draw cord to them so you can tighten them if you want or just wear them a little bit more flared. Oh my, oh my guys, the way that I've been looking for bloomers like this for the longest 
time. What the heck? Okay, in my head, I'm just like, do I print on it or just leave them alone and enjoy them as they are? That is so much fun. So we have an elasticized waist. They are pretty long. And then we have this little cuff detail <gasps> that's giving coquette so girly. I'm obsessed. I'm in love with this piece. Okay, scratch everything else I've said. This is my favorite piece ever. Even just wearing the little cardigan that I have on right now and fishnets, y'all, the looks that we could do with this. Let's move on to our last item. It's the brand Vitamina USA. Is this another paper tag? What the heck? What the heck? It has like a butterfly in fire flames. It's mesh construction, it's sheer. And it also comes down into a point and the sleeves flare out and have a vent. So I love pieces that just add a little bit more silhouette to the body. That pretty much does it for unboxing a bundle from Really Mia Click. Y'all, I'm not even kidding when I say I love every single piece, but I did narrow it down to my top two favorite. Obviously, the bloomers. Come on. It's just giving a coquette dream. Can't live without those. And then this top, which I feel like might be a little surprising, but I just love how practical it is, especially for the weather right now because it's so cold in Los Angeles. Like, I'm literally sleeping with a heater on and three blankets. So I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this this season. If you wanna shop Mia's inventory, she does have an IG and whatnot. She's also a whatnot auctioneer, guys, and one of my favorites. She always has reasonable starts, so let's see what her next show is. Oh my gosh. She has a show today, she has a show tomorrow, and all throughout the rest of November. So I'll leave a link down below to her profile so that way you can bookmark her shows. Also, a huge thank you to Mia for putting together this mystery bundle. I'm so obsessed. If you haven't seen the first unboxing video, I'll leave it down below too, but the first time around, it was full of a lot of like dead stock and designer pieces. Like she included a cop Copin shirt that I still am obsessed with to this very day. But this bundle was more full of unique thrifted Y2K pieces that met my need for prints, but also boyish and girly looks. Mia always kills it, so thanks so much for taking the time to put this together. Also, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video, so don't forget there is a free trial waiting for you at squarespace.com, but when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash Chanel to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code Twiddle. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!